Good evening, welcome to the HCCC, I'm John Molson. Tonight, game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal between the top-seeded Caledonia Corvairs and the eight-seed Brampton Bombers. The Corvairs will try to jump to a commanding 3-1 series lead with the next two games on home ice. The Bombers have been better defensively through games two and three and will be looking to tie up the series tonight. Starting goaltenders for the Brampton Bombers in goal number 31, Brian Raymond. He's played two games, has a one loss record of one and one, eight goals against in the playoffs, a 480 goals against average, and an 860 save percentage through the playoffs. Starting goaltender for the Caledonia Profit Corvairs. Tonight's goalie is number 37, Justice Huzak. He's played in all three playoff games, has a one loss record of two and one, eight goals against in the playoffs for a 2.69 goals against average and a .913 save percentage. As we mentioned earlier, the Bombers better defensively through games two and three on home ice, giving up four goals at the Powerade Center in the 4-3 game two loss to Caledonia before giving up two goals, cutting the series in half. Caledonia's lead now at two games to one going into game four. Brampton winning four to two on Monday night. Play now underway, Fab Ricci on the far side boards, chipping it into the Brampton zone, avoiding the hit of Kyle Allen. Allen looking for the puck now, knocked off the Caledon, or off the puck by Fab Ricci, excuse me, before Michael Derrigo comes up with the puck, passes off, going on a line change, gives to Brady Cloutier, now down deep in the corner in Caledonia territory on the far side. Play by the blue line, Eric DiCarlo recovering in the neutral zone for the Bombers. Boroshevsky with the puck briefly before Jeff Swift knocks him off the puck, crossing the Brampton blue line. Here's a turnover, the hard slap shot by Adam Brady, kicked aside by Brian Raymond, going up into the netting in the near corner for a face-off in the Brampton zone. Brady to take the draw, left face-off circle against Brandon Cleland. 
Brady winning the draw with a short pass to Quilty on his right side before Reed Jackman takes control on the far side boards. Caledonia's Montu are now with possession by the left face-off circle in his own zone. Montour crossing the line, the drop pass to Quilty, back to Montour, looking for a pass for Swift, but it's intercepted by Boroshevsky, who goes down the far side boards inside the Caledonia blue line. Connor Murphy, far side, looking for a three on one, gets a short backhand away on the far side before Boroshevsky grabs the puck and clears it to the neutral zone. Abraham slapping it back in, picked up by Shepard before Abraham grabs it once again by his own blue line. Abraham throwing it in down the far side boards, Gorley giving chase. A Caledonia forward, Nori pinned on the far side boards. Murphy looking for the puck before Nori picks it up. Passes back to Abraham, the shot by Christmas now from the left and they score! Connor Murphy from the side of the net on the initial shot from Christmas. Traffic in front of the net on the near side. Murphy somehow able to find the puck and sneak it inside the right pad of Brian Raymond. The Corvairs jumping out in front, one to nothing. Newcomer Mitch Green to take the draw. He wins the draw, passes to the left wing to Dorian. Green with it once again, and Dorian giving chase down on the far side. Play back to the blue line for Dorian. So the first goal at 224, Cloutier with the puck far side, the short chip in to Hanlon, Cloutier with it now once again before he gives a left hand to the face of Mitch Green. Mitch Green up from the Hagersville Hawks. The Hawks eliminated earlier in the Junior C playoffs by Air. Air now in the McConnell final in the Junior C division. The finals taking place just minutes down the road at Hagersville Arena. Mitch Brown in to take the draw, wins the draw, the drop pass to Morin. Morin shooting it around the board, stopped by Cloutier, far side. So Green gets a high sticking and Brampton to their first power play. Mitch Brown trying to dig the puck out away from the goaltender, back to the top of the point. Mitten looking for the pass before it's intercepted by Brampton. Hanlon now taking it through the neutral zone up the near side and a save in the padding of Justice Huzak. Brady looking to intercept the clearing pass out of the Brampton zone by the defender DiCarlo. Brady still doing a good job of forechecking before Brampton heads the other way. Top of the point, DiCarlo into the board's far side. Caledonia coming up with it, clearing the puck down the ice, going on a line change. 50 seconds now remaining in the penalty to Green. Brampton crossing the line before the puck being taken by Christmas as he clears the zone once again. Cleland goes deep in the Caledonia zone far side. Villaflor throws it down the boards near side before he gets it back. Passes back to Jackman, moving over off the right side of the blue line for a wrist shot. Huzak getting a piece of that, some traffic in front of the net and a whistle four minutes and 38 seconds into the first period of play. 
the Corvairs out in front, one to nothing, on a Connor Murphy goal on the assist at 2.24 of the first period. Brampton with 16 seconds left in the penalty at 15.79% through the first three games of the playoffs. Brampton with three power play goals in 19 tries, but just four seconds remaining before Green steps out of the box. Boroshevsky around the far side, moving around Montour. The shot, Huzak getting a piece of the puck as Boroshevsky in too close to him at the far side. Huzak getting the pad down as Ricci moves over the Brampton blue line for a shot off the right side and a save in the midsection by Raymond. Looks like Matt Capicotto going to the box for the Bombers. The Corvairs to their first power play now. They have seven power play goals and 25 chances in this first round of the playoffs for a 28% power play percentage. Brady near side pass over to Montour down the far side to Abraham, or that's Swift, excuse me. Montour gets it back, throws it deep into the corner to Matt Quilty before it's taken by Caputo and thrown down into Caledonia territory. Nori near side, the short pass to Montour. Quilty streaks down the left wing, the cross ice pass to Swift, kicked aside by Raymond. Nori now from the left back to Montour. Montour fans on the pass. Caledonia getting it back. And Montour moving deep into the corner on the far side. Quilty had the puck momentarily before it's taken by Kelvin Gomes. Gomes slamming it down the ice off the far side boards and going off on a line change. Montour behind his net, the pass far side to Blunt. A possible two on one broken up nicely by Josh Villafour. Hanlon can't clear as a hard shot from the right side by Blunt. Abraham with it now back to Blunt. Over to Abraham and a shot off the inside of the far post by Justin Abraham. Abraham with the wrist shot through traffic. Raymond never saw it. The puck hitting the inside of the post. Villafour back the other way. Tries to move inside the defender. Caledonia getting it right back. Going on a three on two. Gorley looking for a centering pass for Murphy. Before the Brampton defender, Darigo grabs the puck and throws it off the boards. Seven minutes, 20 seconds into the first. The Corvairs on top, one to nothing, on a Connor Murphy goal at 2.24 of the first period. Wolf crossing the Caledonia blue line, his shot wide to the near side. Slap back in by Caputo off the skate of Durkoc before Green takes it, moves over the Brampton blue line, shooting high over the Brampton net. Puck now on the far side. Green tries to turn around, taken away momentarily by Wolf. On the right wing is Durkoc shooting it into Caledonia zone on the near side. Blythe down the far side. Has it intercepted by DiCarlo, taken away once again by Nori, who moves over the Brampton blue line. Brown moving it in far side, puck behind the net now, up the near side to Boroshevsky as Brandon Clellan's quick wrist shot. Huzak with a little trouble on that one. Huzak needs to be a little quicker on the reflex there, but got enough of it to keep it out of the net. Caledonia remaining on top, one to nothing over the Brampton Bombers. Eight minutes and 45 seconds into the first period of play in game four of the GHL quarterfinal 
Brampton Bombers and Caledonia Corvairs. The Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead as the puck goes through the neutral zone up by the Caledonia blue line. Taken away by Villafort before Abraham intercepts, skating up the near side. The pass from Christmas back to Abraham behind his own net. Over to Ricci, has it taken away by Caputo momentarily. Ricci slamming off the near side boards. Wilson moving up over the Caledonia blue line far side. Brown taking it and releasing a wrist shot around the boards near side. Brown with it once again up the far, far side to Mitten. Mitten can't clear the right side. Brampton keeping it into the Caledonia zone. Before Abraham clears it off the near side boards. Hanlon nearly intercepts. A quick pass to Greg Wilson. Wilson streaking through the slot, but offside on the play. 11 minute or 11 seconds rather to the midway point of this first period. Hanlon trying to break out on a two on one down the right side, his shot into the glove of Huzak. Had Darago bearing down on the other side. Huzak able to cut the angle and make the save on Hanlon coming down the right wing. The shot by Buhagiar, partially blocked by Caledonia. Buhagiar seeing action in his second game of the playoffs. This is the first game we've seen him in Caledonia all year. Buhagiar playing in game three in Brampton on Monday night. Brady has it wrestled away. Cloutier now with it behind the net. Moves out in front. A centering pass intercepted by Blunt. Swift streaking down the left wing, looking for a centering pass for Quilty. Quilty can't handle the pass. Darago moving up over center, and a slap shot handled by Justice Huzak for a whistle with 9.14 left to go. First period of play. Brandon Clellan taking the draw. Losing the draw to Connor Murphy, but a quick shot as Murphy quickly, or momentarily rather, losing possession of the puck. Gorley now heading the other way. The pass in to Nori on the backhand. Nori just missing the pass. The puck going to the far side boards. The shoot in by Christmas, Nori looking for it behind the net. Connor Murphy's side of the net, far side. Murphy with it in behind the net. Now the short pass into Nori. Gorley's side of the net, now behind the net, looking back to the point. And a shot right side by Abraham, wide to the near side. Gorley, the pass to Nori, both players in behind the net now. Murphy with it far side, the slapper by Abraham. Gorley turns around, Nori in the slot, taken away by DiCarlo, who shoots it out to the center ice red line. A pass to Murphy, Murphy missing the pass, going off on a line change, and picked up behind his own net by Villaflor up the far side boards. The cross ice pass back to Kyle Allen. Allen avoiding the check of Scott Dorian and walking in offside at the Caledonia blue line. Green to take the draw against Shepard. Linesman doesn't like the drop of the puck and will face off again by the Caledonia blue line near side.
Bombery winning the draw, the pass up for Dorian. Bombery with it once again. Green moving over the line. Dorian from the left. His shot into the padding of Brian Raymond. Raymond looked like he had a little bit of trouble on that one, but able to keep it out and keep the Caledonia lead at one. Caledonia on top, one nothing with 7.34 left to go. First period of play, game four in the GOJHL quarterfinal between the top seeded Corvairs and the number eight seed Brampton Bombers. Hanlon far side over to Allen, back to Hanlon. Darago moving over the right now. The shot off the shoulder of Huzak and clearing it from the front of the net is Scott Dorian. Buhagiar shooting it back into the Caledonia end down the near side. The slapper up the far side boards by the Caledonia defender. Cut off by Darago now in a wrestling match with Bombery for the puck. Buhagiar moving off the point, throws it in behind the net to Cloutier. Cloutier pushed off the puck by Simon Blythe. In behind the net is Darago. Cloutier falling down at the right faceoff circle, and there looks to be a penalty on the play. Simon Blythe to the box for two minutes. The Brampton Bombers to their second power play. Cleland opposite of Brown from the right faceoff circle for the draw. To the left of Justice Huzak, Brown winning the draw, dropping it for a Caledonia defender and kept on side by Phil Caputo at the left point. So Blythe going off for roughing the quick snapshot side of the net by Jackman. The angle cut by Huzak. Your program gets you a number of chances to win this evening. So Jackman from a bad angle down below the left faceoff circle. Huzak able to cut the angle and make the save. Faceoff from the left circle, won by Brady, dropped to the defender, picked up by Brady once again on the far side boards. Swift losing possession to Villafour, who passes off to Jackman, back to Villafour. Brampton now going down the far side by the Caledonia blue line with possession of the puck. Caputo now back in his own end, off the skate of Boroshevsky and down deep into the Caledonia zone, picked up by Blunt, cut off by Jackman, and cleared by Blunt down on goaltender Raymond. Raymond flipping it all the way down the ice as both teams make a line change. Abraham picking it up, Brown, down by the Brampton blue line, can't corral it as Caputo picks it up. Skating over the red line now as Brady Cloutier tries to go through traffic, tries to avoid Brown and Greg Christmas before Brown picks it up, throws it down the ice, and a whistle on the play, a slashing call to Brady Cloutier. So that'll offset the last 45 seconds in the penalty to Simon Blythe will play four on four for 45 seconds before the Corvairs go back to the power play. Their second power play, they'll be on the power play for the next 115 after this next 45 seconds. Brampton picking the puck up, clearing the puck out, passing the far post of Justice Huzak. So with the icing, a face-off in the Brampton zone, Hanlon and Connor Murphy to take the draw from the right face-off circle. Murphy losing the draw, Hanlon with the short pass back to Allen, losing possession to Gorley but he can't hang on long enough for a shot on goal. Connor Murphy with it now. 
has it taken away by Hanlon, streaking down the far side. A snapshot four inches wide off the far side post. The turnaround shot wide of the near side post by Hanlon. So Hanlon with two good scoring chances on the now Caledonia power play, but Hanlon four inches wide on both sides of the post. Nori near side, the pass down the wing for Quilty. Cut off momentarily by Gomes before Blunt throws it across ice to Montour. His shot kicked away by Raymond. Connor Murphy picks it up, back to the blue line for Blunt, and down the left side to Murphy, cross ice. The hard slap shot by Montour. Raymond cutting the angle off the right side to make the save. So Raymond going post to post to make the save off Montour with four minutes and one second to go. First period of play. Brown to take the draw, or Nori, excuse me, down the right side to Swift. Swift off the right, down the side to Quilty and back to Swift. The shot off the shoulder of Raymond. Nori at the side of the post, near side, looking for a rebound. Raymond able to cover up with the glove. With 30 seconds remaining in the penalty to Brady Cloutier. Nori taking the draw, kicks it back to Quilty. Quilty feeds the point over to Swift. To the left to Montour and back in behind the net. Picked up by Cleland on the end boards. Caledonia cuts it off there and skates back around the boards far side. Swift by the blue line to the top of the blue line over to the right and back to Swift. The shot, Montour looks for a deflection. Villafort trying to pick up the puck for the Bombers. The shot by Nori wide to the far side boards. Quilty picking it up over the neutral ice, crossing the Brampton blue line. Nori turning around far side now at the top of the blue line right side. Has it taken away by Cleland. The hard slap shot by Cleland high into the glove of Huzak. Huzak knocking the rebound out in front of the net, but no one able to get to it as Caledonia's Blunt now back on the near side, passing it back in behind the net to Montour. Montour turning around, avoiding the forecheck of Durkoc. Blunt in his own end, cut off by Wolf. Wolf looking for the puck. Fab Ricci in there. Ricci comes away with it momentarily by the Caledonia bench before the Bombers take it right back and recover defensively inside their own blue line. Allen down the far side, cleared in by Wolf. Huzak leaving it for the defenseman Christmas. Off Ricci's skate, deflecting back into the slot and shot in right side by Kyle Allen. Christmas down the far side to Mitten, cut off by DiCarlo. Abraham far side has it taken away by Cloutier and shot right back into the Brampton end by Christmas. DiCarlo picks it up, Ricci at the far side intercepting over to Brown, turns around, pass in behind the net to Mitten and back to Ricci far side. Allen takes it away, Cloutier far side taken away by Mitten before it ends up back on the stick of DiCarlo. DiCarlo crossing the Caledonia blue line, the shot from the far side passing Mitch Brown and Huzak covering up at the top of his crease with 1.16 to play, first period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs getting the early lead at 2.24 of the first period on the goal by Connor Murphy off the initial point shot from Greg Christmas off the left. Murphy finding the puck through traffic and sneaking it past the right pad of Brian Raymond. 
So Caledonia looking to continue their dominance on home ice, losing only three times in regulation during the regular season all year. Looking to continue that trend tonight as they won eight to two here on Friday night. Swift getting in behind the defender, goes right around Caputo, gets a shot and a rebound. Raymond cutting the angle. Quilty inside the blue line, the pass across to Montour, the feed from Swift, Montour losing it, picked up by Brampton, cleared off the near side boards. Back in his own zone is Montour right in front of the net with just under 25 seconds to go, first period of play. Montour can't find a play as Brampton goes on a line change. So he just turns around and sits and waits behind his own net. Under 10 seconds to go, Hanlon looking for a four check. Cleared off the far side boards, Allen back in his own zone to recover. Nori tries to touch it up, but Allen just touches it lightly to end the first period of play. The only scoring in the first on a goal through traffic, Connor Murphy picking up the rebound at the near side post, sneaking it past the right pad of Brian Raymond at 224 of the first period. So at the first intermission, it's the Caledonia Pro Fit Corvairs one and the Brampton Bombers no score in game four of the GOJHL first round quarterfinal matchup. The Corvairs, the top seed with a 2-1 series lead over the Brampton Bombers. The Bombers cutting the series lead in half on Monday night at the Powerade Center with a 4-2 victory. In other series, the Cambridge Winterhawks with a 3-2 lead over the Elmira Sugar Kings. The Sugar Kings staving off elimination last night at Galt Arena with a 5-1 victory. Through four games in the Listowel Kitchener series, it's the Dutchman with a 3-1 series lead. Game five in Kitchener tonight. And the Stratford Collins lead Waterloo 2-1 with game four tonight in Stratford. So all four series in the Midwestern Conference resuming tonight. Brampton crossing the blue line with a shot by Jacob Hanlon high off the glass on the near side. Allen down the boards, intercepted by Brown and his backhand to Mitten. Mitten unable to clear the line. Allen keeping it in momentarily before Ricci's clear out hits the ceiling for a face off by the Brampton Blue Line, or by the Caledonia Blue Line, excuse me. Connor Murphy to take the draw against Brandon Clellan, but the linesman moving the face off back inside the Caledonia zone at the right face off circle. Draw one by Connor Murphy, but he can't avoid the point. And the shot by Jackman right off the faceoff. So Huzak surprised by the quick shot right off the draw. And Reed Jackman ties this game up at one. 29 seconds into the second period of play. The quick shot by Jackman off the right side of the blue line. As the two teams face off at center, the Corvairs and the Bombers now tied at one.
Play down deep into the Brampton zone near side. Brady and Quilty try to come up with the puck. The pass by Quilty back to the left. Moran moving off the blue line and back in behind the net to Swift. Quilty with it near side, has it taken away by Cleland. Caledonia able to keep it in. Brady, the quick shot, high in the slot, handled by the glove of Raymond. Morin gets the puck far side, goes back in behind the net to Swift. Quilty now with it in behind the net as Swift tries to knock Boroshevsky off the puck. The centering pass right side or left side to Brady, excuse me, shot wide off the end boards in behind Raymond as a flip pass by the defender, Buhagiar ends up in the ceiling. Kind of strange, we rarely see pucks up into the ceiling here. We've seen two go up in the first 36 seconds of this second period. Caledonia and Brampton now tied at one off the tying goal by Reed Jackman off the right side of the point. Christmas losing the puck, Abraham having to back up on the play. The shot, shot off the far side. Play now inside the Brampton end. Caputo back behind his own net as he's knocked over by Dorian. No call on the play. DiCarlo the flip down the far side. to Jake Durkoch, Durkoch flipping it in, going off on a change, and Abraham standing and waiting behind his own net with the puck for Caledonia. Christmas, the feed down the far side, looking for Bombery. Bombery can't handle the pass. The play going for icing, and a faceoff back in the Caledonia end to the left of Justice Huzak. Green to take the draw. Far side drops it back for Abraham. Villafort tied up on the boards by Bombery looking for the puck. Green grabs it, the quick shot into the glove of Raymond. Raymond hanging on for a faceoff. Two minutes, 39 seconds into the second period of game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal between the Brampton Bombers and the top seeded Caledonia Corvairs. Brampton winning the draw, Caputo tied up on the boards, Hanlon looking for the puck as he battles with Ricci and Brown. Hanlon does eventually come up with it. The pass down the left wing to Cloutier, taken away by Montour, up the far side boards to Ricci. Hanlon back to recover for the Bombers. The shot back in off Hanlon's skate and back in behind the net near side is Villafort. Villafort skating down the near side, the pass by the blue line. <coughs> Excuse me. The quick pass by Darago. He moved in on a two on one with Cloutier. Cloutier shot wide of the net. Caledonia right back the other way and they score. The quick snapshot by Brandon Montour going the other way to the near side post under the arm of Raymond. We'll wait and see who gets credit for that goal. I was still calling the play from the other side as Caledonia broke down the far side. Here's the announcement now. So Montour does indeed get the go ahead Caledonia goal. Assisted by Mitch Brown, so at 3.32 of the second period, the Caledonia Corvairs break the tie and move back out in front, two to one. 
in game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal. The Corvairs with a 2-1 lead over the Bombers. Moran with the puck far side, loses it momentarily. Hanlon moving in, a quick shot from a bad angle handled in between the padding of Husak. Nori down the far side, falls down as he's cut off and stood up at the blue line by Phil Caputo. Murphy in behind the net, centering pass, looking for Gorley, cut off by Gilmore, and the shot by Ryan Blunt through traffic. Raymond having to go down on all fours to make the save at the top of his crease. As a few bombers have words with the Caledonia bench as they go off on a line change. Face off, right face off circle, Brampton zone. Brady losing the draw. Brampton slamming it around the boards far side. And Abraham and Brady having to go back in their own zone. But a nice play by Gilmore as he's able to rush in and touch up in between the two Caledonia defenders. Buhagiar flips a backhand off the glass in behind the Caledonia bench and out of play. Brady with the draw against Cleland from the right to the left of goaltender Raymond. Brady kicked out of the draw taken by Quilty. The draw won by Brampton. The puck now on the far side before it's thrown back in behind the net by a Caledonia forward. Abraham from the right moves around Jackman past side of the net to Quilty. Knocked away left wing by the Bombers. Quilty up by the red line, slips it back into the Brampton zone as Jeff Swift throws some snow in the face of Raymond as Raymond covers up with the glove at the top of the crease by the near goalpost. Centering pass on the draw, won by Caledonia, taken away by Wolf as he streaks down the left wing past the Caledonia blue line. Dorian moving around the defender, Villafor, Raymond having to move away from him and pass the puck onto the defender, Matt Capicotto. Capicotto behind his own net up the near side up the near boards by the Caledonia bench as Durkoch gives chase, turns around a centering pass off the inside of the padding of Huzak as Cloutier looks for a rebound. The shot from the right by Capicotto. Capicotto slipping up defensively, Caledonia Going back the other way on a two-on-one. Bombery looking for the puck in the far corner. Hitting Capicotto on the far sideboards as tempers flare. And it looks like a high stick call on the play to Jake Durkacz. Tyler Norrie to take the draw, left face-off circle, Brampton zone, 3.52 to go, second period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs out in front by a narrow one goal, two to one in game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal. As the quick shot by Montour evades traffic, Ending up in the padding of Raymond for another face-off from the left circle. Nori winning the draw over to Montour, across to Swift and back to Montour. Swift with it, 
high slot over to Quilt. He moves off the right back in behind the net. The centering pass to Nori. Raymond covering up with the glove. 140 to go in the penalty to Durkot. The third Caledonia power play of this game. The first Caledonia power play of this second period. As Brampton wins the draw, Villa for tied up behind the net. So Caledonia regains possession. High slot, Montour side of the net, and they score. The rebound from Brady comes right out to the side of the net. Far side, Nori depositing it. In the near corner, Raymond with no chance on the play as he cut the angle off the initial Brady shot in the slot. A Warnori on the far side and the Corvairs go out in front by two. The Corvairs now with a 3-1 second period lead, 13-10 to go, game four, GOJHL quarter final. Crossing the blue line on a three on two. So the Corvairs with their first power play goal on the night. Turnaround pass by Ricci looking for Blunt on the point right side, but Boroshevsky intercepting, going in behind the Caledonia net and laid out by Nate Mitten. Greg Wilson unhappy with the shot to Boroshevsky and goes after Mitten. Mitten with a big hit on Boroshevsky. Boroshevsky laid right out, but he's able to get up, being looked at by the trainer. Looks like he's wobbling a little bit as Boroshevsky has a discussion with the Brampton trainer. Connor Murphy to take the draw in his own zone from the left circle. No call to Nori on the play on the big hit on Boroshevsky. Boroshevsky laid out, but no penalty on the play as they move the face off up to the Caledonia blue line. Villa Fleur shooting it in far side, picked up by Montour. The pass out to Gorley, now taken away by Brady Cloutier. De Carlo by his own blue line, the short pass to Villa Fleur, skating up over the red line and into the Caledonia zone. Hanlon side of the net by the end line. The centering pass to Derrigo, taken by Villaflor. His shot hits a skate and goes into the corner on the far side. Gorley down past the defender, stood up by Villaflor. A nice hit by Villaflor on the far side as it's taken away by Derrigo. Throw him back to the neutral zone. As Cleland called for a hook, as Blythe gives him a shot after the whistle. So Bombery gonna go to the box for Caledonia in the even up. 
for the shot after the whistle. Cloutier with the initial hook far side. Face off by the Caledonia Blue Line, far side. Green tying up in the skates before it's eventually taken away and moved over the blue line by Greg Wilson. Christmas back behind his own net, four checked by Gilmore. Allen looking for the puck. Dorian able to grab it near side, move around the defender, and what a move. And here's a wraparound as Mitten falls down near side of the post. So what a beautiful move coming off the inside, skating post to post by Scott Dorian. His shot hitting the end boards. Caledonia picking it up on the near side, wrapping it around, but it now looks like Dorian will go to the box. A good shift for Scott Dorian ends up in him going to the box. 52 seconds to the midway point of the second. The Corvair is on top by two, three to one. Jackman, the pass into Hanlon, top of the point to Carlo. Huzak unsure where it was, but caught enough of the inside of the padding to keep it out of the Corvair net. Dorian to the box for two minutes, two minutes for cross-checking after that nice post-to-post -post move, eventually ending up on the far side, missing the net off the end boards. Now the goalie going to the bench for Brampton, the shot by Jackman off the shoulder of Huzak. Brampton going to go to a two-man advantage as Jeff Swift hammers a slapper down the ice. Ryan Morin to the box for Caledonia. But now they'll open the end boards by the Caledonia dressing room. Morin must have received some kind of misconduct. We'll wait and see if that's the end of his evening. So Caledonia will be down one defenseman if that is indeed the case. Brampton to a two-man advantage for the next 126. Face off from the left circle, won by Hanlon, pushed to the corner near side. Back to the right, Jackman. Checking from behind for Morin. Caputo to Jackman and back to Caputo. Caputo side of the net, Gomes centering pass. Abraham knocks down Hanlon, hits him from behind. And now Abraham going to the box for cross checking. So Caledonia finding themselves in penalty trouble as we move past the midway point of this second period. The Brampton Bombers looking to strike quickly down two goals in game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal. The Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead. Jackman down in the corner and back to Jackman. Down to the corner over to Caputo. The shot high up over the net off the glass on the far side. Caputo from the left, Dipsy Doodles drops back for Jackman. The slap shot by Caputo. Hanlon looking for a deflection. Side of the net, Hanlon now with it in behind the net. Caputo looking slot, misses the net. Far side, picked up by Jackman. 
goes down the right wing, back to Jackman, over to the left to Caputo, and back to Jackman. Over to Caputo. Blunt looking to clear the zone high in the slot. The slide across by Montour as he cuts off the pass by Hanlon. Side of the net by Jackman. Huzak tries to get the glove down, sprawled out on the far side. Cleland grabbing it, passing back to Caputo. Montour unable to get it out at the right side, or the left side of the blue line, excuse me. Caputo down the far side boards. The shot by Jackman, blocked by Montour as he clears the zone and goes off to the bench for a much needed Caledonia line change. Brampton trying to come back as quickly as they can. Clellan moving too quickly and moving offside on the right side of the Caledonia blue line. Nori to take the draw right side of the Caledonia blue line. He wins it. Passes back to Christmas, who clears back to the Brampton blue line. Shepard from the left clears it down the near side boards. Puck now all the way over on the far side. De Carlo down the right wing. The shot wide of the net and comes back out the near side. Villa for over to DiCarlo, back to DiCarlo. DiCarlo skating by his own blue line now, up over the center ice red line and across the Caledonia blue line. Jeff Swift intercepting, knocking it back to Villaflor, the defender. Cloutier skating over center, moving past Jeff Swift as Caledonia clears it back into Brampton territory. Another Caledonia line change with 37 seconds remaining in the final penalty to Justin Abraham. Caledonia looking to kill three consecutive Brampton power plays. Now down inside 30 seconds as play goes back to the blue line. Mitten hitting Villa floor. At the left side, Cloutier moving into the slot and they score. Brady Cloutier with the turnaround shot. Cloutier turning around, sneaking it in, side the post, at the far post. And the Bombers cutting the Caledonia lead back to one. Head referee Wolf not happy with the side talk after the Brampton goal. Brampton having words with Caledonia fans in behind their own bench and the head referee Wolf giving a warning to both sides Huzak now leaving the puck for Jeff Swift, skating back behind his own net. Pass going off of Montour's skate, back to Swift, back to Montour, crossing the neutral zone is Brady, and down on the far side boards now is Adam Brady. Swift from the right, high slot, passes off to Quilty, down in the near side corner to Brady. His shot, excuse me, 
hitting the side of the net. Swift top of the blue line back to Montour, the fake shot into Brady, side of the net, and the shot off the left pad of Brian Raymond. The shot by Montour blocked by Shepard, so Montour has to go back up the side boards, left wing to Jeff Swift as Matt Quilty moves in offside at the Brampton blue line. Murphy losing the draw, Hanlon passing back to Villafor. Blunt a cross ice feed to Abraham, puck ends up in behind the net. Spencer Gorley tying up Caputo, Bombery looking for it. Five men in behind the net now looking for the puck, comes back out left side to Montour, his quick snapshot through the padding of Raymond before Brampton picks up the puck and clears it down the near side to the right of Justice Huzak. Blunt in behind his own net now. Pass down the far side to Murphy. Murphy skating over the center ice red line. The pass off to Bombery back in for Montour. Feeding <coughs> Gourley in the slot. Gourley turning around back to the blue line to Blunt and his quick snapper two inches wide to the far side post. Darago trying to get in behind the defender Blunt, cut off by Caledonia as they clear their own zone. On the feed by Abraham, Bombery can't handle the pass. And an icing call with 4.08 to go, second period of play. The Caledonia Corvairs on top of the Brampton Bombers, the Corvairs with a 2-1 quarter final series lead. Reed Jackman tying the score in the second, 29 seconds in, before Montour and Nori replied for the Corvairs. Cloutier cutting the Corvair lead to one. A score we now currently stand at. The Corvairs three and the Bombers two, 3.45 to go, second period of play. Abraham tied up behind his own net. Puck squirts back to Huzak, who turns around and covers up at the far post. Brown to take the draw, right face-off circle. Opposite the other 26, Brandon Cleland. Cleland winning the draw back to the blue line. The shot by Jackman, Boroshevsky looking to pick it up, but Mitten instead goes the other way for the Corvairs. Mitten now aggressive on the other side as well, throwing it back in far side taking it away from Allen. Brown now pinned up against the far side boards by Boroshevsky, and I believe that's gonna result in a penalty to Nick Boroshevsky, as he pinned Brown up against the boards far side. Caledonia will be looking for their second power play goal of this second period. Nori to take the draw against Shepard to the right of Brian Raymond. Caledonia winning the goal. The quick shot from the left by Nori moving off the blue line by the left faceoff circle. Covered at the top of the crease by the far post by Brian Raymond. 
Nori winning the draw back to the left over to Montour down the side to Nori and the wrist shot high into the shoulders of Brian Raymond making the save with three minutes to go. Second period of play. 150 to go remaining on the minor penalty to Nick Boroshevsky. Nori taking the draw, Hanlon tying it up in the skates before Darago takes it, clearing the zone back into Caledonia territory to the right of Justice Huzak. Hanlon tied up near side boards. Montour comes up with it now down the left wing to Jeff Swift, who throws it down deep into the corner near side. Brady up with it down the slot, the cross ice feed. Montour looking for Quilty at the near side post. Jeff Swift losing it at the blue line now and Caputo recovering inside his own blue line. Caputo, a quick shot. 160 feet down the ice, handled by Huzak. A turnover here by Caledonia, and they score. So, Cleland feeds Jake Durkoch from the Caledonia blue line. Durkoch going in alone and going up over top of Huzak on the far side. The Brampton Bombers tying up game four of the GL quarter final with two minutes to go, second period. Here's a shot by Blunt in between the padding side of the net. Gorley looking for a rebound on the near side. Clellan dumping it off the boards back in behind the Caledonia net as Abraham picks it up, skates by the faceoff circle over his own blue line and the cross ice feed to Connor Murphy. The drop pass for Bombery back to the left to Abraham over to Blunt. The shot off the shin of Darago. Gorley down the near side into Bombery behind the net. Connor Murphy and the quick shot two inches up over top of the net by Blunt. Murphy's side of the net turns around near side taken away by Boroshevsky and a backhand into the Brampton end by Blunt as the whistle goes under a minute to play now, second period of play. So a flurry of goals in the second period after just one lone goal by Connor Murphy at 2.24 of the first, Reed Jackman tying the game at 29 seconds as Caledonia crosses the Brampton blue line. Fab Ricci offside on the play. Brandon Montour putting the Corvairs out in front at 3.32. The Corvairs leading two to one off the assist by Mitch Brown. The Corvairs extending that lead to three to one on the goal before by Tyler Norrie before the Bombers could reply with the two tying goals. Goals by Brady Cloutier and the breakaway by Jake Durkoch with two minutes to go. Second period of play inside 20 seconds now. Down the near side is Shepard skating down the far side now. Huzak leaving it for Montour who chips it back off the boards behind his own net. Ricci slapping it. The whistle going with just 1.3 seconds to go. Yeah. 
So the breakaway pass by Jake Durkoc. Durkoc beating Huzak on the far side as Brown takes the draw from the right faceoff circle against Clellan to end the second period. The buzzer goes, and at the end of two periods of play, it's the Caledonia Corvairs three and the Brampton Bombers three in game four of the GOJHL quarterfinals. The Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead, but the Bombers coming back with the last two goals of the second period to tie this contest up at three goals apiece going to the second intermission. Once again, it's the Corvairs three and the Bombers three. Second intermission, GOJHL quarterfinal game four. The Corvairs on top, two games to one. The GOJHL quarterfinal at two games apiece. The Corvairs looking to move into a 3-1 series lead as they'll be back here Friday night at the HCCC for game five. On the out of town scoreboard, it looks like the Cambridge Winterhawks will eliminate the Elmira Sugar Kings in game six. The Winterhawks with a 4-0 lead as Mitch Brown wins the opening faceoff, passes off to Mitten who throws the puck in behind the Brampton net. Allen far side down the far boards, hits the skate of a Caledonia four checker and Hanlon has to go back for Brampton to recover the puck in his own zone. So Brampton having trouble clearing their own blue line as Caledonia inside Brampton territory three times within the first 40 seconds. Blythe the pass over the Brampton blue line, intercepted by Allen. Play now back by the Caledonia blue line as Blythe and Allen get in a fist fight. Allen throwing several rights. Blythe unable to get anything away as he finally throws his first right hand. Blythe starting to come away with some right hands as the two combatants tie up between the two face-off circles inside the Caledonia end. Blythe yelling at Allen as two linesmen and a head referee break up the fight. So a defender for each side gone for the night as they go off for fighting inside the first minute of game four, GOJHL quarterfinal action. Corvairs and Bombers tied up at three in other action on the out of town scoreboard. The Listowel Cyclones trying to stave off elimination no, they've, they have indeed staved off elimination. No time left in that one. An early start tonight in Kitchener as the Cyclones come away with a 3-2 victory to stay alive in game five of their series against the Kitchener Dutchman. In Stratford, it's the Stratford Cullitons with a 3-1 lead on the Waterloo Siskins. Start of the third period. The Cullitons with a 2-1 lead, trying to jump out in front, 3-1 on the third seed, Waterloo Siskins. Thank you. 
Brady to take the draw, left circle in his own zone against Cloutier. Cloutier already with a goal tonight, looking for the Brampton go-ahead goal. Brampton to go on the power play for four minutes. As Simon Blythe receives the extra penalties through that scrap as Jeff Swift moves in short-handed down the left wing. Hanlon center ice red line, the lead pass broken up by Blunt to Carlo back in his own zone across to Caputo who moves up over his own blue line and the pass off the skate of Hanlon picked up by Blunt. Hanlon behind the Corveyor net now down to the left to DiCarlo, over to the right side to Caputo, and back down the near corner to, to Cloutier. Caputo shot, Darigo in front, his short deflection past the near side post. Caputo right point, the shot. Darigo looking for a tip but Caledonia's Blunt able to clear the puck down the near side boards. Nori grabbing it behind the net and a big giveaway by the Bombers as Nori could either wrap around or pass off to Quilty. Couldn't quite get the pass away to Quilty. Corvair's having a wide open net shorthanded as Capicotto now back behind his own net for Brampton. Pass down by the center ice red line. Boroshevsky moving into the slot. The low shot wide to the near post. Villafour watches the pass go by as Jackman picks it up on the near side. Back into Cleland. Broken up momentarily by Brown who four checks Villafour. Villafleur over to Clellan near side and back to Villafleur behind his own net. Villafleur fanning on the pass before picking it up, throwing it down the far side boards by his own blue line. Villafleur breaking in down near side, Jackman picking it up. His shot wide to the far side. Abraham picking up the puck, throwing it down deep into Brampton territory. 1-12 to go, remaining in the extra penalties to Blythe. Blythe and Allen throwing out of the game for fisticuffs. 52 seconds into this third period, the Bombers and Corvair is tied up at three. Caputo shot, hitting the outside of the post. Picked up by Swift, the drop pass to Blunt, throws it all the way around the far side boards. Caputo unable to keep it on side for Brampton. Hanlon moving into the slot and they score. A wide open Jacob Hanlon past the glove of Marcus Del Conte. That's a curious move. Marcus Del Conte now in net for the Corvairs. That's the first I'd noticed that he's been in the Caledonia net. Four minutes and 20 seconds into this third period of play. The linesman not liking the Brampton line change on the face-off, off the power play goal. So Hanlon unassisted at 420, moving right into the slot, beating the glove of Del Conte. 
And no explanation why Huzak is not in net for the Corvairs. I see Huzak down at the end of the Caledonia bench. He doesn't appear to be any in any great amount of pain. Dorian far side tied up by Shepard. Green looking for the puck as well. Dorian still checked by Shepard. The turnaround by Green hitting the outside of the post on the far side. Bombery down in the corner. The pass taken away by Capacato. Green looking for it. Villaflor down the near side by his own faceoff circle. Tries to make a pass, but it hits the stick of Gourley and deflects high and into the crowd out behind the Caledonia bench. Draw by the Caledonia blue line beside the bench, won by Murphy, the pass back for Christmas as he stands in behind his own net now. Pass down the far side, cross ice feed to Connor Murphy, moving over the Brampton blue line, skating around the net far side and losing possession of the puck at the far boards. Gets it back, the shot by Gourley, a quick snapshot off the short feed off the far side by Murphy. Gourley with an open shot trying to tie this game at four. But wide of the net on the far side. Corvairs back to the power play. As Buhagiar sits in the box. Rebound. Nori looking for a rebound. Swift to Montour. Montour the quick snapper. Wide of the near post. Montour in behind the net. Nori far side back to Swift. Swift by the top of the blue line down the side. Montour quick shot off the skate of Gilmore. Darago picking it out. Picking it off and chipping it off the boards from the blue line down into the Caledonia territory. Brady has it taken away. Caledonia back the other way now. Nori down the far side. Capicato with possession. The backhand pass to Villaflor. Quilty down the side board. Swift back by his own blue line to pick it up for Caledonia. Montour skating by his own blue line. The pass over center cut off by Calvin Gomes. And Villaflor shoots it in to the Caledonia end near side. Picked off by Villaflor again off the initial pass by Abraham. Cloutier shorthanded. So Caledonia having trouble coming out of their own zone in the last 30 seconds. Gorley skating in all alone down the far side. Connor Murphy with it now back to Abraham and over to Murphy, right side face off circle, hard slapper. Abraham, Gorley right at the, excuse me, top of the crease looking for the rebound. Twelve thirty to go, third period of play, game four, GOJHL quarter final. The Caledonia Corvairs now behind in this contest after jumping out to a 3-1 lead. The Bombers on goals by Brady Cloutier, Jake Durkoch, and the go-ahead right in the slot by Hanlon. The Bombers now on top. Gorley quick shot, side of the net, off the pass by Bombery, and a glove save at the far post. 
by Brian Raymond. Zero six nine and zero four nine. Brown to take the draw, right face-off circle. Hanlon opposite him with the go-ahead goal. Hanlon winning the draw, dropping it to the defender. And out at center ice, Blunt throws it back in for the Corvairs. Mitten the turnaround. Mitten trying to take the puck away as he gets a stick up by the visor. Puck going down the ice for icing. Brown to take the draw from the left circle this time. Brown winning the draw back to Abraham. The shot right off the draw into the glove of Raymond. Brown to take another draw from the left, winning the draw, the shot by Montour, the wrister to the near post, covered up on the blocker stick side by Brian Raymond. Brown to take a third consecutive faceoff from the left side. Abraham moving down in behind the net. Ricci now the centering pass for Mitten. Brown the turnaround and blocked by the defender, Capicotto. Ricci far side, back to the point. Montour, the quick wrister, high to the far side. Abraham throws it deep near corner to Ricci. Mitten looking for it on the far side boards as he ties up with Cleland and Kurt Wolf. Green to take the draw, left face-off circle opposite Hanlon. Hanlon winning the draw but can't push it past Green. Green putting the puck in behind the Brampton net. The shot wide to the near side by Blunt. Norrie turning around, blocked by DiCarlo as Brampton heads the other way. Darago the shot near side off the shoulder of Del Conte as he covers up with the glove at the near post. Brady to take the draw against Hanlon, right circle. Brampton behind, or ahead by one, excuse me, as the shot blocked and Caledonia comes the other way down the right side. Jeff Swift losing the puck to Hanlon, Blunt turning around, skating past the center ice red line over the Brampton blue line, the shot into the near corner as he tries to bank it off the back of Raymond. Raymond, or Brampton, excuse me, clearing the puck out past their own blue line on the far side. Gomes picks it up, the backhander handled by Blunt and dumped right back into the Brampton zone. DiCarlo behind his own net, skates around the near side. The pass down the far side off the boards, intercepted by Montour and thrown back to neutral ice. Caputo in his own zone, the pass back for DiCarlo. DiCarlo down the side. Picked up by Gorley, dropped for Montour. The pass to the center ice red line to Caputo. Or to Quilty, excuse me. Just over the 10 minute mark. Under 10 minutes to go, third period of play. The Brampton Bombers ahead by one. 
as the whistle goes at the Brampton Blue Line. The go-ahead goal by Jacob Hanlon unassisted at 4.20 of the third period. Connor Murphy to take the draw against Brad Shepard by the Brampton Blue Line far side. Murphy winning the draw, making a short pass to Nori on the right side. Nori slapping it back in, but Shepard picking it up at the Brampton Blue Line. And a strange shot on Del Conte hitting his pads, but Del Conte able to cover up with the glove. Shepard winning the draw, passing it over to the left wing. Wilson looking to move into the slot. Puck now back in behind the net. Shepard losing out to Ryan Blunt, kept back Kept in by Villaflor. Puck now on the right side. Gorley trying to gain possession. Blunt skating far side. The pass up to Nori. Murphy moving on side at the Brampton blue line. Villaflor trying to bank it off. Blunt can't do so. Nori picking it up at center and clearing it down into Brampton territory down the near side. Darago crossing the Caledonia blue line, the shot in off the side of the net near side. Abraham turning around, a big four check here by Hanlon. Hanlon looking for his second goal of the game. The Brampton Bombers looking to tie this series at two apiece. Caledonia winning eight to two on Friday night. Winning back in Brampton on Sunday evening at the Powerade Center 4-3 before the Bombers coming right back with a 4-2 victory Monday night, cutting the series lead in half. The Corvairs moving out in front by two goals here tonight, but they were unable to hold on to the lead. The Bombers storm right back with three consecutive goals. The Bombers now ahead by one. Game four, GOJHL quarterfinal action. 7.39 to go, third period of play. Swift by the center ice red line, gloving it down. Gomes shooting it back in hard on the near side as the whistle blows. Take the draw, left circle, banking it off. Clellan, Christmas keeping it in at the line, left side. Swift coming away with it, passing behind the net. Brady doing a nice job of turning around before it's taken away. And a backhand pass by DiCarlo off the boards. He hits Kurt Wolf going the other way. Christmas grabbing it, throwing it up the far side boards. Quilty coming away with it. The pass down the left to Swift, who shoots it in far side. Quilty looking for it behind the net. And they score! Jeff Swift cutting off the pass from in behind the net. And the quick feed cross ice to Brady at the far side. The Corvairs tie the game at four with 6.49 to go. Third period of play. So the Corvairs get what they're looking for. The tying goal and a chance to go ahead either in the last seven minutes of this third or inside the overtime. The Corvair is looking to go out in front in this series. 
So Quilty getting credit for that quick shot off the far side, the cross ice feed from Brady. The Corvairs tie it up. Brown gloves it down off the right side. Gorley moving down around the net and inside the near side. Brown skating behind the net, centering pass, looking for Gorley off his stick. The whistle blows and a slashing call with 5.52 to go. The Corvairs and Bombers tied up at four. The Bombers looking to tie the series at two after a win at the Powerade Center on Monday night. Phil Caputo going to the box for two minutes. The Corvairs now looking for the go-ahead goal on the power play. Montour from the left moves in deep behind the net, far side. Skates away from the defender, hands it back to Swift at the point. Over to Quilty, far side. Quilty avoiding Gomes, looking for Swift. Clellan trying to stand him up. Clellan now with the puck, looking to go one-on-one -on -one with Swift. He takes the puck dumps it into the Caledonia end and goes off on a line change. Swift down the near side to Quilty, up the right to Brady, back to Swift. Swift moving into the slot, passing off to Montour, back to Swift. The hard slap shot wide of the net, far side. Swift with possession once again. Over to Brady, Brady back to Swift. Swift to Montour, down the side to Brady, near side, up high over the near side post. Swift from the right, down the side to Quilty. Quilty from the faceoff circle, right side to Brady, back to Quilty. Quilty, top of the circle, the shot, and a save in the midsection by Raymond. Eight seconds to go in the slashing call to Phil Caputo. Brown winning the draw right side. Ricci in the corner now. Check from behind by DiCarlo. Ricci still looking for the puck. DiCarlo taking the puck, tries to clear far side. Blunt moves in, takes it away. Throws it back down the far side boards. Ricci back to Blunt. Blunt off the right, looking for a fake pass down the side to Ricci, looking for Brown's side of the net. Brown right in the slot, the shot off the far side by Ricci, covered up in the midsection by Raymond before Mitch Brown can grab the rebound. We're now inside of five minutes, 4.07 to go. Third period of play, the Caledonia Corvairs and Brampton Bombers tied at four, GOJHL semi-final, or quarter-final, excuse me, game number four between the top-seeded Corvairs and the number eight seed Brampton Bombers. Christmas down the far side, cut off by Villaflor. Villaflor now with a head of steam centering pass, Cleland's side of the net. And Del Conte able to slide across and become of an, enough of a distraction to distract Clellan from the shot, but he comes right back with a hard shot down the far side. 3.34 to go. Nori with the puck over center down the near side boards. And a nice hit by Capicotto sending Nori flying into the near side board. Gorley far side, turns around the centering pass, the backhand by Montour, wide of the net, near side. Montour tries to go off the back shoulder of Raymond, centering pass. Gorley down the side to Montour, side of the net, looking for Nori back door. Nori now behind the net, Gorley on the forehead, a spectacular save by Raymond. 
Raymond spins around, ends up on his front, flopping around, reminiscent of Dominic Hasek, but able to make the save and keep the game knotted at four. Brady to take the draw, left circle against Hanlon. Brady winning the draw, and a shot by Christmas into the glove far side of Raymond. Brady winning the draw, trying to put a short pass back to Quilty. DiCarlo grabbing it instead throwing the puck off the glass far side into Caledonia territory for a whistle with under three to go now. Caledonia and Brampton tied at fours. Brady to take the draw far side against Jacob Hanlon. Brady the pass back to Quilty. Nobody there on the far side. Quilty looking for a Caledonia forward, but Darago intercepts, throwing the puck back into the Caledonia territory down the near side. Hanlon behind the net, turns around to avoid the check of Christmas. Hanlon moving out on the forehand, his shot past the far post, kept in by DiCarlo, in behind the net, looking for Cloutier, taken away by Christmas. Blunt the backhand around the boards near side looking for Swift. Cut off by Caputo. The centering pass handled by Christmas. Throws it down the far side to Quilty as Caledonia goes on a line change. Cloutier through the neutral zone, dumps it down deep down the near side to Caledonia territory. Capicotto with it by his own blue line across to Villaflor. Villaflor up to Clellan, cut off by Abraham as Brown goes the other way. Mitten with a head of steam over the right side of the Brampton blue line. Ricci and Brown looking for the puck far side. Caledonia digs it out, but the pass back to Mitten mishandled. Mitten having to recover back in his own zone. We move inside the last minute of play. All tied up between the Corvairs and the Brampton Bombers. Four aside, Caledonia with a 2-1 series lead. Game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal. Top seeded Corvairs, eight seeded Bombers. Del Conte leaving the puck throwing the backhand pass up around the boards to Mitten, leaving for Montour, throws it to center ice. Back to Villaflor, regrouping in his own zone. DiCarlo up to the center ice red line, cut off by Brady, chipping it off the far side boards. Villaflor with it now for Brampton, a four check by Brady, able to take it down the near side boards intercepted by Blunt. Villaflor with it now by the blue line. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, handled off the right pad of Del Conte. The buzzer goes, and the Brampton Bombers and Caledonia Corvairs go to overtime. So Jacob Hanlon in the third moved the Brampton Bombers ahead for the first time in this game, four to three on his unassisted goal moving into the slot at 420 of the third period. Matt Quilty on the quick feed from in behind the net. Brady feeding him from the end line, near side hitting Quilty at the right faceoff circle. Quilty with the quick shot to tie the game up at four. And at the third intermission, we head to the first overtime. The Caledonia Corvairs and the Brampton Bombers all tied up at four apiece, heading to overtime. Game four, GOJHL 
quarterfinal between the Caledonia Corvairs and the Brampton Bombers. The Bombers and Corvairs out to start overtime, knotted at four goals apiece. Jacob Hanlon grabbing the first Brampton lead at 4.20 of the third on the unassisted goal before Matt Quilty replied for the Corvairs to tie the game up to send this game to overtime. The Corvairs looking to move out in front 3-1 for game five here at the HCCC on Friday night, 7.30 game. The Bombers, of course, looking to tie the series. Hanlon winning the draw, slapped away by Abraham Villaflor back into the, his own zone, cut off by Jeff Swift. Near side boards by the Caledonia bench. Montour, the hard slap shot, handled in between the padding of Raymond. The defender for Brampton losing control of the puck momentarily, going down the right wing to Cloutier. Cloutier looking to make a quick move, cut off by Abraham. Caledonia right back the other way, the feed by Swift, the shot hitting the outside of the net. Montour or Quilty moving back far side, the wrap around by Blunt. Moving off the point is Ricci, throwing it back deep near side, Villa Flora around the net. The pass to Phil Caputo, Phil Caputo the pass up the center to Clellan, the quick shot into the stomach of Del Conte. One minute and six seconds into overtime, the Bombers and Corvairs tied at four. Game four, GOJHL quarterfinal. Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead. Brown winning the draw, trapped up against the near side boards. Blunt, the feed through center to Ricci. Ricci falling down, Capicotto recovering in his own zone, passing off to DiCarlo, far side, back to Capicotto, the bank pass off the boards to Jackman, out through the neutral zone to Clellan near side. Christmas tries to cut him off as he falls to the ice, in behind the net to Jackman, taken away by Blunt. Jackman out to Durkoch, to the point to DiCarlo in the slot, partially blocked. Brown tries to pick it up and clear the zone. DiCarlo hitting the face with the puck off the left side of the blue line as Brown tried to clear. DiCarlo going down in a heap just inside the Caledonia blue line as the trainer comes out to take a look. One minute and 49 seconds into the first overtime. Corvairs winning eight to two here at the HCCC Friday night. The Bombers winning on Monday night. Caledonia winning that second game on the Sunday at the Powerade Center. The Corvairs winning all six regular season contests against the Bombers. But the Bombers hanging tough, looking to tie this series in game four of the first overtime. Shepard winning the draw, the bank shot off the near side boards by the Corvairs. Murphy breaking in over the Brampton line. Far side, centering pass, Nori to the backhand. Off of Shepard, Abraham goes back down near side. 
turn around by Norrie, can't keep it on side at the Brampton line. Abraham dumping it right back in. Murphy looking for the puck at the right. Brampton losing possession, Wolf losing it to Abraham trying to move back on side and the shot by Montour hits the end boards in behind the Brampton net. Montour back in his own zone, two inches wide of the Caledonia post on the far side, Abraham, the bank shot to Gorley, pass down the wing, streaking as Brady, the turnaround to Montour, Montour far side, turns around looking for Brady's side of the net, into the slot moves Gorley from the right faceoff circle, the shot deflecting high into the far corner as Gorley goes off on a line change. Quilty from the left circle, looking for Blunt back at the right, hits the skate of a Brampton defender, and he has to go back in his own zone to recover the puck for the Corvairs. Capicato off the far side boards for Cloutier, chipping it back in, looking for a lead pass to Darago. Darago checks Christmas on the boards, Christmas turning around, able to get it to Swift down the far side boards before he falls down on the play. DiCarlo goes behind the back to Capicato, cut off by Swift, and a short pass right back into the Brampton zone. Capicato far side boards, <coughs> cut off by Swift, excuse me, here's a giveaway. The backhand by Brown just wide of the far post. Darago breaking through center. Cloutier a two on two. A shot and a huge right pad save by Marcus Del Conte. Mitten pinning his man up against the far boards. Couldn't see who got the shot away but Del Conte had to get the right pad down in a hurry to keep out the winning goal. Four minutes, 27 seconds into overtime, the Bombers and Corvairs tied at four. Caledonia winning the draw, Brown heading to the net, the shot by Montour into the far side boards. Brown the turnaround looking for Ricci. Looks to cut off a Brampton forward on the far side boards. Abraham cutting the puck off. So Caledonia trying to cut the ice in half at the center ice red line. Brown turning around in the corner, near side. Side of the net, Ricci from the end line, intercepted by Shepard. Abraham keeping it on side before Wolf breaks out the other way off of Shepard. Ricci crossing the neutral zone, the flip pass to Murphy down the near side, cut off by Villaflor. Murphy near side from the end line, the quick shot by Gorley, handled in the glove by Raymond. Nori in the face-off circle, opposite Brandon Cleland to the left glove side of Raymond. Cleland winning the draw, pushing it back behind the net. Picked up by DiCarlo, cleared near side and thrown back down the side boards by Blunt. Blunt by the center ice red line, dumping it in off the glass far side. Mishandled by Raymond right out front, Nori near side. Shot partially blocked. Christmas the shot wide to the near corner off the end boards. Capicato with the puck. Jackman the other way, looking for Durkoc in the slot. A flutter pass, Del Conte down. Jackman side of the net, far side. Here comes Gorley racing out by himself. Connor Murphy losing the puck at the blue line. Nori clearing it at his own blue line. Gorley stepping on side. Connor Murphy going to the Caledonia bench. 
The pass cross ice feed for Cloutier, cut off by Abraham as the puck deflects out of play on the near side. Six minutes and 33 seconds into the first overtime. The Brampton Bombers and Caledonia Corvairs tied up at four. The Bombers looking to tie the series. The Corvairs looking to move out in front three to one as they come back home for Friday night's game at 7.30 here at the HCCC. Caputo behind his own net. Cut off by Quilty near side. Capicato goes cross ice for Cloutier. Cloutier tries to go in behind the defender. Cut off as Brady goes the other way. Looking to go around the defender near side. The shot off the mask of Brian Raymond. Centering pass near side. Brady far side from the end line. And the shot high and into the netting on the near side. Face off by the Brampton blue line to be taken by Jeff Swift. Puck in the neutral zone by the Caledonia bench, slapped in by Blunt. Capicato tries to swing his stick, get the puck out. Now tries to use his right glove to clear the puck. He does, and here's a possible two on one. Blunt look. Wow! Del Conte with two huge saves on Jake Durkach. First off the right pad and then a huge glove save. Into the slot, the backhand by Brown cut off by Durkach. So end to end action as Del Conte covers up with the glove at the side of the net on the far corner. A face-off in the Caledonia zone from the right circle. Nori to take the draw, loses it to Quellen, but Montour picks it up around the near side. The fluttering shot by Villafort, handled by number 26, Brandon Quellen. Villafort back inside his own blue line now, down the near side boards. Calvin Gomes looking to get in behind the defender. Nori cutting him off at the last minute. Shot back in by Cleland. Del Conte leaving it for Abraham. He goes down the far side boards. Villaflor back to play the puck for the Bombers. Villaflor trying to get away from the four check of Nori. Nearly turning it over. Montour throwing it back in before he goes off on a line change, hitting the glove of Raymond before Raymond leaves it for the defender, Villaflor. Here's Hanlon now skating out by himself through the neutral zone. Cloutier cut off by Brady down the far side and slapped back in by Quilty. Jeff Swift near side, throws the backhand pass to Brady. Brady tries to turn around in the corner, but Cloutier comes up for, with it for Brampton. Hands off to Darago, skating around the far side. Hit by Christmas, and a penalty coming up here to the Corvairs. Hanlon turning around. Cloutier back to the blue line to DiCarlo. Partially blocked, but Caledonia unable to gain possession. Brampton having to go back in their own zone. The net now empty for the Bombers. Capicato behind his own net. DiCarlo claiming he still had possession of the puck as the whistle goes. Jeff Swift possibly touching up on the play as Greg Christmas going to the box for drilling a Brampton forward into the boards on the far side. 
as we approach the halfway point of the first overtime, Brampton to the power play. Brady Cloutier in the draw left faceoff circle, Caledonia winning it and doing a nice job of clearing back down into the Brampton zone. Jackman down the near side, the pass to Cloutier, cut off by Mitten. Caledonia looking to move in shorthanded and the shot high up over the glass behind the net. Moving into the slot as Hanlon, the drop pass right side to Cloutier. Cloutier down the boards to Hanlon. Hanlon turning around back to Caputo, the slap shot looking for a deflection is Clellan, but it goes back into the corner near side. Cloutier far side now, back to the point. Caputo partially blocked by Nori. Back down the far side. Hanlon goes back down deep into the corner. Cloutier far side now goes around the net. Cloutier near side dropping for Jackman. Jackman back to Caputo at the blue line. The shot, the rebound. Del Conte getting enough to keep it out. Clellan looking for a rebound in front. Far side boards, back to the point. The shot, Del Conte getting 75% of the puck. Enough to keep it out of the net. And we're still tied, 25 seconds to go in the penalty to Christmas. Brady looking for a turnover as Villaflor almost puts it in his own net. Or that was to Carlo, excuse me. But nonetheless, a turnover by the Bombers. Swift down the far side boards. Stopped by DiCarlo, down the side boards, into Blunt. Slaps it down the near side, back in to Brampton territory, and that will end the penalty to Greg Christmas. Villafleur losing the puck. Quilty grabbing possession and boards side of the net. Swift to turn around off the skate of the Brampton forward, Derrigo. Caledonia trying to forecheck here, looking to cause a Brampton turnover as Connor Murphy forechecks on the far side. The pass through center and ice, but it's waved off. Wow, a surprise there. A pass 100 and 30 feet from Brampton. Here's a play side of the net. Gorley looking for Murphy down the back door. Cut off last minute by Brampton. 7-10 to go, first overtime period. Clellan tries to get in behind Abraham. Abraham getting back last second. Connor Murphy, the shot by Nori. High and over the net, near side. A giveaway by Abraham. Side of the net, and wow, a wide open net for Greg Wilson as he hits the outside of the post on the far side. The Caledonia defender possibly getting back at the last minute. Del Conte coming out. Del Conte coming out way too far and a wide open net for Wilson. No penalty on the play. Quilty down the near side, cut off by DiCarlo, throwing back in by Derrigo. Blunt in behind his net, pass near side to Christmas. Derrigo looks to cut it off, Quilty looking for the puck. The shot back in behind the net by DiCarlo. Far side, Caputo, his shot off the far end boards. Hanlon turning around, looking for, Brady looking for a cross ice feed. End to end action. Brampton looking to keep it in. Caledonia looking for a quick Feed the other way. DiCarlo, the pass for Cloutier, rainbowed back up the near side. 
handled by Abraham. Abraham off the glass down the far side to Green. Green losing it in the skate of a Brampton forward. Wilson, the man that hit the outside of the post earlier on. Wilson had an open net. Here's a feed down the far side into green side of the net, in behind. Picked up now by Brampton as Villaflor waits behind his own net. 5.18 to go, first overtime period. The pass and an icing as Villaflor makes the pass from his own blue line. A missed pass results in a faceoff in the Brampton zone. Face-off, Tyler Norrie winning it to the left wing to Connor Murphy, looking to make his way out from the side on the near side. Slap back in by Montour, hits the end boards, takes a funny bounce and picked up by Capicotto. Wilson through the neutral zone, looking to redeem himself, has it taken away by Montour. Murphy the feed to Abraham, the pass down the boards to Gorley and flip back in down the near side. Capicotto the backhand down to Darago far side. Murphy cuts him off, gloved down by Christmas and shot right back in, a low shot off the pad to the side of the net. Raymond deflecting it off to the defender. Hanlon going down the far side. Swift, a possible two on one side of the net looking for Quilty in the slot. Swift turning around. Christmas trying to keep it on side at the left. Swift to Quilty. The quick snapper from Quilty off the left handled in the glove by Raymond. Four minutes to go, first overtime. <laughs> All tied up, first overtime. Caledonia Corvairs, Brampton Bombers, game four, GOJHL quarterfinals. Caledonia with a 2-1 series lead, Ricci moving in behind the Brampton net. Brown far side taken away by Durkoc. Brown gets it back, gives it to Ricci. Centering feed to Mitten. DiCarlo picks it up. Goes to Clellan, Clellan passes it off the near side boards, picked up by Montour. Montour behind his own net, sits and waits. 3.25 to go, first overtime period, down the far side, banking a pass off the far side boards to Mitch Brown. Montour down the far boards, tied up. Four players in there looking for the puck. Caledonia losing possession, Brampton moving over their blue line, but it's turned back over to Nate Mitten. Durkoc in the neutral zone, crossing center, throws it into the boards near side, picked up by Abraham, crossing behind his own net, moves out the far side, down the left side of the blue line, Montour grabs it, looks to go around Shepard. Montour near side now, the pass out, looking for Quilty, cut off by Capicotto, and grabbed by Shepard, looking to come out past his own blue line. Shepard cut off by Blunt, who backhands it to center. Swift moving over the blue line, the hard slapper wide to the near side, Blunt throwing it back in. Cut off by Raymond and left for Capicotto. 2.19 to go. First overtime period. 4 4 Bombers and Corvairs. Capicotto behind his own net. The pass out to Caputo. Cut off by the Caledonia forward, Quilty. Back to the line. Blunt, the fluttering shot wide to the near side of the post. Tip back in by Reed Jackman as he goes off on a line change. The whistle goes inside of two minutes to play now. First overtime period. Caledonia and Brampton tied up at four.
Murphy the draw by the Brampton blue line. Brampton winning the faceoff. Can't get it past Abraham who throws it in. Gorley far side to Murphy. Murphy in the corner far side tied up by Caputo. Darago comes up with it at his own blue line. Nori tries to stand him up. Takes the puck, throws it down the near side boards. Picked up by Caputo, skates out the far side in his own end. The drop pass to DiCarlo, up to his own blue line to Darago. Darago getting a bit of the pass, but cut off by Mitten. Darago getting it back over to Cloutier, now down deep in behind the net. The centering pass by Clellan. Cut off by Murphy, who shoots it down the near side boards, back into the Brampton zone. Clellan playing the puck to Capito. Cut off by Quilty, side of the net. The quick shot off the right pad of Raymond Gorley. And Brady at each side of the net, looking for a rebound. Inside the last minute of play, first overtime period. So uh, there'll be a face-off in the Brampton zone as Caledonia takes a timeout. The Bombers trying to tie this series at two. The Corvairs looking to move out to a commanding 3-1 series lead. If the Corvairs can win here tonight, they'll try and wrap up the series here Friday night at 7.30 here at the HCCC. Brady to take the face off opposite Jacob Hanlon. Hanlon with a goal earlier tonight, the go ahead goal for the Bombers at 4.20 of the third period on the unassisted goal. The Corvairs later coming back and tying the game up at three. Swift cuts it off far side boards in behind the net to Quilty down the far side back to Swift. Back into Quilty behind the net down the near side to Montour. Cut off by Hanlon. Hanlon now turning around in behind his own net near side. Skating out past his own blue line over center, out past the Caledonia blue line and down the far side before he's hit by Blunt centering pass. Hanlon looking for Darago. Nori chipping it off the boards, or that was Quilty, excuse me. Blunt down the near side to Montour. Montour turning around and giving it back to Blunt. Blunt with the puck, flips it down the far side, back into the Brampton zone as Raymond puts up his left arm to signify an icing with 7.4 seconds to play, first overtime period. Face off deep in the Caledonia zone from the right circle. Brady to take the draw against Clellan. Brampton hoping for one last shot. Shot into the corner, picked up by Montour, down the near side to Quilty, crossing into the neutral zone. The buzzer goes, and that ends the first overtime. The Bombers and Corvairs will head to a second period of overtime, tied at four in game four of the GOJHL quarterfinal at the end of four periods of play. It's the Caledonia Corvairs four and the Brampton Bombers four. Start the second period of overtime. The two teams, the Caledonia Corvairs and Brampton Bombers, 
All tied up at four after one overtime period. Game four, GOJHL quarter final action. The Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead. Folks, they've played so long here tonight that they've closed down the beer garden. So no more suds for the fans up in the upper right hand corner as Brady and Hanlon face off at the center ice red line to start this second overtime. Brady winning the draw to the near side boards. Montour backhanding it in down inside the Brampton line. Hanlon taking the puck, skating over center, looking to move around Montour, turning around in the near corner now back to Caputo. The shot six, six inches wide of the near side. Quilty down the far side. The pass, Swift picking it up at the left. The hard slap shot right off the side of the face of Phil Caputo. Caputo down in a heap, the trainer out. And Caputo down inside the left faceoff circle by goaltender Raymond. Marcus Del Conte making several key saves in that first overtime to keep this game knotted at four. As Caputo able to get up. Going back to the bench gingerly, no doubt, off the hard slapper left side by Jeff Swift. Face off in the Brampton zone. Adam Brady to take the draw, left face off circle. Against Jacob Hanlon, Hanlon late coming into the draw, jumping in off the bench and winning the face off forcing it back to DiCarlo behind his own net. Hanlon then taking the puck, flipping it off the glass and out of play. 38 seconds into the second overtime. Corvairs and Bombers tied at four. Game four, GOJHL quarterfinals. Murphy to take the draw from the left opposite Clellan. Clellan winning the draw, but can't avoid Nori. Two players for Caledonia moving right into the slot. Gorley off the far side. Nori calling for the puck. Back to the point, the slap shot off the end boards by Blunt. Another shot by Christmas. High over the net, Gorley back to Blunt. From the right, down the side, Gorley. Gorley moving back to the top of the blue line. The shot partially blocked by Villaflor. Villa floor down. Brampton back the other way quickly. Jackman shot high up over the net. Norrie skating down into the Brampton end by himself, cut off by Brampton defenders. DiCarlo dropping back. For the defenseman, Capicotto, Capicotto waiting behind his own net, giving it back to DiCarlo. Over to Hanlon, Hanlon far side, cut off by a hard charging mitten. Ricci going back in across the Brampton blue line, looking to take it away. From number 23, Matthew Bagarier. Or Buhagiar, excuse me, Buhagiar seeing very little action in this game. But Buhagiar back behind his own net now for Brampton as Cloutier tries to clear his own zone. Hanlon crossing the center ice red line, Brampton going on a change, cut off by a Caledonia forward, Montour. Chasing DiCarlo down in the corner near side, or that was 
Greg Wilson, excuse me, Wilson with a glorious chance in overtime number one, missing the wide open net on the far side. Del Conte coming out, way out of his crease to play the puck, mishandling the, or misreading the play, far side. Wilson going in on a break, but hitting the outside of the post by an inch on the far side. A face-off now, Brampton end, right face-off circle, Brady to take the draw against Shepard, Brady winning the draw, Quilty moving into the slot, turn around by Swift, blunt the hard shot, moving off the blue line right side. Blunt with the hard shot from the corner off the boards. Raymond cutting the angle with the pads. Brady in to take the draw against Clellan. Right face off circle once again, winning the draw. Hard slap shot by Blunt, wide near side. Picked up by Christmas. The pass to the outside near side, picked off by Brampton. Villa Floor behind his own net. Quilty tries to cut him off, passes back to the Caputo and up the near side to Durkoc. Durkoc flips it in down the far side to Jackman, centering pass. Durkoc moving into the slot and Del Conte getting the left pad down to keep the puck out of the net and keep this game tied at fours. Second overtime, Brampton Bombers, Caledonia Corvairs. Caledonia with a 2-1 series lead. The draw to the left of Del Conte. Darago going down into the corner near side, taken away by Nori, throwing down the far side boards. The slap shot by Villafor from the center ice red line. Takes a funny bounce, goes into the slot. Here's Hanlon again, another good chance. Far side and another huge save by Del Conte off Cloutier down the far side. So the puck taking a couple funny bounces. Jacob Hanlon with two great chances before Del Conte slid across, robbing Darago. Face off from the right circle, won by Caledonia. Christmas down the far side, boards to Quilty. Swift going in far corner, drops to Quilty, back to the point, hard shot by Blunt. Swift looking for a deflection right at the top of the blue paint on the far side. Face off by the Brampton blue line. Brady to take the draw against Clellan. Clellan winning the draw, dropping it back for the defender Jackman. Capicato back, intercepted behind the net by Quilty, but taken right back by Eric DiCarlo. Dirk Hodge down the near side, banking it down the near side board, throwing back in by Christmas. The backhand shot fluttering through the slot area. Raymond having to be careful. A face off from the left circle, Mitch Brown, Brad Shepard, Brown wins the draw, puts it off to the left wing to Mitten, taken away by Villaflor, who has the puck for the Bombers now. Slap back in by Abraham off the far boards. Teams look like they're trying to shoot wide of the net, trying to get a funny bounce to hop back in front of the net. Caputo back far side to Villa Floor, over to Wolf on the far side boards, over to Gomes taken away by Abraham, crossing the blue line, the shot off the right shoulder of Raymond. 
From the end line, Ricci the centering pass, looking for Brown on the backhand. Abraham moves back up. Brown over on the far side, looking for the puck. Ricci turns around, taken away by Shepard and flipped out through all three zones into the Caledonia end for an icing call. Face off left circle, 422 to go, second overtime period, Bombers and Corvairs tied up at four, Corvairs with a 2-1 series lead. Brampton takes a timeout as the face off deep in their own zone. to take the draw against Shepard left face off circle to the right of Raymond. Murphy winning the draw down the side boards to Nori. Murphy with it once again turns around two players for each side now trying to get possession beside the Brampton net. Nori back to the left to Christmas the hard slapper. Gorley and Murphy looking for rebounds in front of the net but Raymond covering up in the midsection. Murphy with the draw left circle once again. Hanlon falling down but manages to get it away to Caputo. Cloutier, Christmas giving him a short hand to the face. Cloutier gives a slash in retaliation Del Conte to the bench and Caledonia to the power play. Murphy turning around far side boards as Cloutier goes to the box. Cloutier a retaliation penalty. 13.42 to go second overtime as the Corvairs go to the power play. One power play for Brampton in the first OT. The referees, for the most part, letting them play. But Cloutier getting a retaliation call. Nori winning the draw back to Montour. The wrist shot wide of the net, far side. Swift over to Quilty, back to Swift. Swift moving high, back to Quilty. Shot near side, looking for Nori back door. Picked off by Gomes, who heads the other way. The shot, bad angle off the left pad of Del Conte. Quilty down by his own blue line, avoids the forecheck and moves into Brampton territory. A backhand pass to himself off the boards, far side, unsuccessful. Brampton clears back into the Caledonia end with 1.20 to go on the minor penalty to Cloutier. Nori over the left side, over to Montour. Montour on the backhand, turns around into the slot to Quilty. Quilty back to the point to Nori. Nori the hard slapper on the pass over to Swift. Swift throwing his stick in frustration as he shakes his head and skates off to the Caledonia bench. Connor Murphy to take the draw opposite the other 14 Shepherd from the right circle. Brampton end. Blunt over to Gorley. Gorley back to Blunt. The hard slap shot. Mitten in front. 
Raymond seeing it all the way. Making the big save at the top of the blue paint. Murphy moving to the left now to take the face off. Murphy tying up in the skates. Brampton coming away with it. Cleland just getting the puck over his own blue line. Eventually the puck collecting enough steam to go all the way back into the Caledonia zone. Behind the net of Del Conte, Murphy picking it up now, dropping for Blunt. Blunt passing at the left into the Brampton zone. Caputo hitting him on the board. Blunt gets away. Blunt behind the net, turns around. The feed on the far side to Murphy, back to Blunt. Blunt now near side, checked by Capicotto as Brampton clears the puck with under 10 seconds to go in the penalty to Cloutier. Abraham behind his own net, Cloutier out of the box now as he flips it in to the Brampton end and goes after his own rebound. His shot hitting the back of the net, squirting out the side, Brampton picking it up and throwing it back down in the Caledonia zone. Ricci behind his net, down the far side to Montour, up to Mitch Brown at the center ice red line, down to Ricci crossing the blue line, cut off by DiCarlo, puck now in the neutral zone. Caputo with the puck, over to DiCarlo, crossing the blue line. Now over the red line, the backhand pass by the Caledonia blue line, cut off, Caledonia now goes the other way. Caputo looking to clear his own line, slapped back in by Swift and moving up the shoulder of Raymond. Cloutier by center, clears it down the side boards. Caledonia trying to pick it up down the near side. Swift the pass to Quilty, cut off by Villaflor. Jackman picks it up over to Capicotto. Swift in the neutral zone, cut off by Hanlon. Swift, a hard slapper off the shin of Gomes, turns it over, Brady at the Brampton blue line, losing possession to Jackman. The puck out far side at the Brampton blue line, picked up by Villaflor. Jackman down the far side, moving down the near side to the Caledonia corner. Abraham picking it up in his own zone. The lead feed to Quilty, moving in on a break. Villaflor getting back at the last second and fans calling for a cross check. No call on the play. Just in my opinion, I don't think that was a penalty. I think it was the fans wanting a Caledonia power play. Montour down the far side, cut off by Brampton. Puck now on the far side boards as Nori dumps it back into the Brampton end. DiCarlo behind his own net. Connor Murphy tries to take it away. Darago at the near side. Murphy looking for a deflection on the quick shot by Nori. Hanlon crossing the center ice red line into the slot over to the left, down by the end line as it's covered up by the glove of Del Conte. Shepard against Mitch Brown. Face off in the Caledonia end, Caledonia winning it. Blunt throwing the pass down the side boards, but the pass pops up going just over the glass into the netting for a face off in the same spot. Draw one by Caledonia. Blunt banking it off the boards once again, puck back in the neutral zone. Play by the Caledonia bench. 
Gomes looking to break in one on one. Shot back in by Caputo. Del Conte directing it to the corner with the left pad. Pass up to Ricci moving around or trying to move around the defender Villa floor. Taken away by Cloutier as he skates over his own blue line, past center over the Caledonia blue line and down the near side. Caledonia now looking to go on a two on two. Ricci and Brown, Brown the backhand wide of the net. Ricci looking to go back to Brown in behind the net. Cut off by Abraham in behind the net. Brown turning around, checked by DiCarlo. Quilty off the boards, the shot by Abraham just wide far side. Swift grabbing the rebound back to the point. Hard shot by Montour, partially blocked by Cloutier as Montour goes deep into the Brampton zone by the right faceoff circle. Quilty back on side as Brampton tried to change quickly. The whistle goes as Caledonia tried to catch them napping with a quick shot. 7.42 left to go, second overtime period. Corvairs and Brampton Bombers tied at four. Caledonia with a 2-1 series lead. Game five here, two nights from now, Friday night, 7.30. Nori from the left in to take the draw against Shepard. Montour over to the side to Swift. Quilty side of the net. Caledonia back to the power play. The shot, the deflection by Brady into the glove of Raymond. So Swift from the right. Brady looking for a deflection in front of the net. Brampton getting a costly too many men penalty in Caledonia to the power play. Swift from the right, down the side to Quilty. The quick shot high up over the net. Cleared by Gomes. Swift behind his own net with 7.12 to go. Second overtime period. Brady down the far side, chips it off the boards, turns around, gives back to Swift. Swift over to Montour, back to Swift. Down the side to Brady. Brady turning around far side boards, gives it back to Swift, top of the blue line, back to Swift. Brady, Brady's side of the net, quick snapshot. Quilty side of the net, Montour turning around, moves to the top. The hard slapper by Swift hits something in front, going to the near corner. Montour to Nori, cross ice feed, the shot by Swift. Nori looking to grab a rebound, picks it up. Far side, the shot. And a big save, Raymond cutting the angle with the right pad off the slap shot by Jeff Swift. Murphy winning the draw, still trying to get it out of the skates. Capicotto coming up with it, throwing it through the neutral zone and back into the Caledonia zone, played by Del Conte. Abraham behind his net, leaves it for Connor Murphy, racing around the near side, looks to avoid Capicotto. Capicotto with the big hit. Gorley down the far side, moving around the net, now on the near side, back to Abraham. Over to Blunt, Blunt with the wrist shot. Gorley in the slot, a defender slides across, breaking it up last minute. Blunt losing the puck, Durkoc coming in from behind, and a big hit, Durkoc coming away, and a save by Del Conte. Jake Durkoc with a nice play, taking the hit, still coming off the boards, moving into the slot. 
Del Conte having to react quickly with a save in the midsection. Face off to the right of Del Conte. Brown falling down. Where's the puck? Green has it now. Right wing can't clear the Caledonia blue line. Montour with it now. The backhand to the neutral zone. Picked up by Caputo. Over to DiCarlo and back to Caputo. Caputo losing possession. Cleland with a slapper wide of the net through Del Conte hitting the end boards. Lead pass for Ricci moving into the Brampton end. Tries to cut off Villaflor. Brown behind the net now. Blunt over to the other defender. Montour up to Green. Green crossing center up over the Brampton blue line and down deep into the far corner. Picked up by Reed Jackman. Jackman through the neutral zone back into the Caledonia end behind the net. Del Conte skating out to the far side and covering up off the end behind the net. Swift picking it up, throwing it through the neutral zone, and the play going for Ison. 4.15 to go, second period of overtime. The Corvairs and Brampton Bombers tied up at four. Brady taking the draw to the left glove side of Del Conte. Brady winning the draw, passing off to Montour. Montour slapping it down the far side boards. Looking for Quilty. Abraham, the backhand down the far side, cut off by Hanlon. Montour breaking out now, possible two on one, back, and they score! Second overtime. The cross ice feed. Matt Quilty, the game winner. 16 minutes and five seconds into the second overtime. Montour with the assist off the backhand pass. Quilty able to slip it inside the far post. Pass a sprawling Brian Raymond. And we will see you Friday night. The Caledonia Corvairs take a 3-1 series lead for the Caledonia Corvairs. I'm John Wilson. Join us Friday night for game five of the GOJHL quarterfinals between the Brampton Bombers and the Caledonia Corvairs. Tonight's final score, the Corvairs with a 5-4 victory in double overtime off the goal on the far side by Matt Quilty. We'll see you Friday night at 7.30 right here at the HCCC. Good night.